This is the Scary Movie Clubcast. Live from the clubhouse, it's Scary Movie Clubcast. This is Nadine. And this is Amanda. And tonight, we watched The Haunting of Hill House. So to talk with us about it tonight, and we're just going to do this by episodes, we have a very special guest, our friend, Kate. Hi. <laughs> Happy to be here in the clubhouse. <laughs> Yay. Why you look at me like that, Sure. That's how she'd be <laughs> looking at people. Okay. <laughs> My cat is, like, giving me the weirdest stare. Okay, so... We're going to throw it over to Amanda for some fun facts. Okay, so these are just the fun facts I know, and then we'll go to the one, other ones. But so a fun fact about Hill House in general is that it's based off the Shirley Jackson novel, A Haunting of Hill House, so the same name. And the character names in it, a lot of them come from the original novel. So there's Theo, Nell, and Luke are all original names along with the, what's the caretaker couple's name? The Dudleys. The Dudleys. The Dudleys, those are, you can find those names in the book. The movie is a lot different from the book. I haven't read it, but I've read about the book. <laughs> <laughs> so I've read That's about the do. book. I really want to read it. I need to read it because Stephen King says it's like the, the best like horror novel there is. Everyone agrees it's like the epitome cool. of ghost stories. Yeah. But other than the fact that it's taking place in a haunted house and the characters share the same names, it doesn't really follow what the book is at all. Oh, okay. That's how they it's do. different. Yeah. <laughs> But I mean, they do an amazing job, so forgiven yeah, yeah. already. Yeah. yeah, very similar to like um, The Shining. It's like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. And then Shirley, she is actually named after Shirley Jackson, the writer of the novel. Oh, cute. And Steven, he's named after Steven Spielberg, who I think helped get the project off the ground. That's nice. Do they call him Stevie? Because now that's like, now if I ever see Steven Spielberg, I'm going to be like, Stevie. <laughs> uh, I don't know if they call him Stevie, but I imagine it's just a cute name to call a kid, I guess. I don't know. They were trying to, like, just make it more, like, family Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, makes sense. And that's all the ones Amanda knows off the top of her head? The one? Or there was two? All the names. <laughs> yeah. I know. It just cracked me up because you said it like you had just said, like, a whole list. Oh. <laughs> it was. a short list, but then, like, <laughs> Not enough for some subcategories like we're used to. Didn't do as much research into these as Amanda normally does. Because Amanda do be doing subcategories in her fun facts. Amanda be talking to the third person. <laughs> <laughs> I've not read. I mean, saying we're professional, it's just an understatement, really. <laughs> Kate's like, I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like when we were watching it, you were full of fun facts. Like you were talking about the ghosts in the background. Oh, yeah. There's a lot, a lot, not every shot, but a lot of the shots that take place in a hill house will have just like random ghosts that aren't necessarily attached to the story just hanging out in the background. Like the characters don't recognize that they're there and like it's just there just to just scare you as a viewer when you the notice it. Freakiness them. of the show. <laughs> yes. I love it. So I've watched this four times. This is my, four, we're going on our fourth time here for me. And this made my second time noting that there were ghosts in the background so much scarier because I was looking for them. And as soon as you see them, it just like your skin just crawls a little because they're just like, <laughs> yeah. they're just standing there. Yeah, that's super freaky. Oh, speaking of ghosts, in this first episode, Steve sees a ghost. When Olivia interrupts Stephen and Mrs. Dudley's conversation, a face can be seen behind her as she moves through the door frame. It is gone when she turns to leave after inquiring about luke so that's one of the ghosts in the background it makes me like never want to look at the main characters and just look at the background <laughs> which i guess after you've watched it a few times you have the liberty to do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like where are the ghosts i think a where is waldo but spooky yeah <laughs> oh yeah uh, i pointed this out when you're watching it in the scene where um nell is dancing through the house and she kind of goes through the conservatory with all the statues you can see this big mirror and it's actually the mirror from 2013's oculus um which was directed by mike flanagan just like this series is pretty good movie yeah it's pretty decent i liked that Some have you ever seen good that scares. no i never saw that one that's interesting I haven't seen it yet Similar vibe, honestly, a little bit to some extent. Yeah, some definitely similarities. House. Yeah. Oh, also, the actress who plays Theo is married to Mike Flanagan in real life. Really? What? I know, right? What is that age gap? I don't know, but he's now a cutie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's a 
tell you what, guys, when we record for episode two, I'm going to know that age gap. <laughs> and I'm going to let you know. <laughs> One of the things that um, Mike Flanagan does is he uses a lot of the same actors in his things. So the woman who plays the mother and then the man who plays the father in Hill House are also in his movie or mm, Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> Or Ouija, depending on who you are. Or Ouija origins. It's a homage. Ouija's Origins of Evil from 2016. Also, the little girl who plays Shirley's in that movie. Aw. Oh, like, wow. yeah, they're all such cuties. I These know. kids are so cute. They are very, very cute. It, like, makes you feel really bad for them and all the, like, terrifying things. I know. It's like, yes. no wonder they're so screwed up with their adult selves. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. They struggle. Poor kids. Oh yeah, and here's another one of the ghosts is when Steve and his dad are about to run out of the room on the last night, you can see a silhouette of a man in the background. Oh yeah, that was the one that we saw a lot. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. Just standing back there. I know, because honestly that shot goes on for like a hot second. So yeah. that ghost just stands there for a long time and the dad keeps turning around and I'm like, why can't you see this ghost, bro? I know, he's <laughs> just used to it. Like, it's just the reality of being in the house. Sure, it's stuck. She's like, you didn't introduce me on the cast. I don't understand. I'm part of this. <laughs> sure, you can come up here. She's Crazy so eyes. <laughs> anyway, and then there's another one. When Steve and his dad are running down the stairs, you can see three figures standing next to the staircase. Can you be a professional? <laughs> She's playing with the cat. It was so cute, though. She has the cutest thing, guys. We'll post a picture of it on the Instagram when this comes out. Um, but yeah, you can see one on the left and then two on the right in that shot. Another thing that's kind of like um, foreshadowing is when you see little baby Shirley sleep talking in Hill House. She's talking about dancing in the red room. Kind of foreshadowing yeah. Nell dancing around in the house. Oh, yeah. Which was really creepy. It was mm-hmm. creepy. Love that dress, though. I know. She looked You're going to see it again. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's good on the fun facts. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah, pretty fun good. facts. I know. Yeah. I love it. But yeah, so episode one, I think, is very good. Like, so yeah. strong. Yeah. Well, it, like, draws you in because there's so many things that I want to know the answers to now. Yes. <laughs> like, um, how did she die and whatever happened there in the first place and what happened to the mom and mm-hmm. like where's Luke well I guess we kind of saw Luke but like what's his deal yeah. and just how did this all yeah happen and come together so they do a good job like intriguing you and sucking you into the world yes yeah. a very good setup so, yeah <laughs> yeah I always get blown away by like the monologues in the movie like they're just so good in this one that's in this episode there's um the woman whose house oh. Steve is investigating and she mm-hmm. tells that story of her husband's death and how she saw his ghost and everything oh, and there's yeah. like a bunch of them throughout the show and I just think that's something that Mike Flanagan does really well he also did that a couple times in um Dr. Oh. Sleep Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's very well done. Just a really good setup. Yeah, and the cinematography is really cool in it, too. It's just like... It gets even better, Kate. This is just the beginning. (laughs) Yay! We're going to stay up all night and watch all of these, right? (laughs) Maybe. Nobody nobody else to see tomorrow. Kate's always trying to play chicken with us. She doesn't know who she's playing chicken with. I know, Kate. Literally yesterday we messaged her and we were like, Kate, we want to watch this with you because we had been planning this. Our, we call it Project oh, Mayhem. Yeah, and it kept getting derailed. And so Amanda and I were like, COVID screw happened. it. And, um, and so and so we texted her that and she was like, when? Oh, yes, tonight? And we were like, we're available tonight. And she was like, oh, uh, uh, backpedal. Yeah, totally called my bluff on that one. Well, and I was like, should I just blow off my plans that I already made? And I came super close. <laughs> to doing that and I'm like no I guess we could just start tomorrow and not right this second because I was about ready to put my shoes on and just like drive over <laughs> we were ready <laughs> oh man that was funny <laughs> yeah, yeah I watched this whole show in like a 24 less than 24 hours because I watched almost all of them I was like mm, it's so late I guess I'll go to sleep no. and then I had like two episodes left yeah oh no and then you have to finish it and yeah. yeah, it's like, what, am I crazy? I'm going to go <laughs> no. to sleep not knowing what happens? <laughs> I don't know. I have to find out everything that happens, and I have to stay up for an hour thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> At least. Exactly. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, guys, we're going to head right into episode two right now. Uh, we're going to save all our rankings for the end, I think. Oh, right? rankings of the episodes? Well, probably we'll just rank the whole series, right? Oh. Or do we want to rank each episode? I mean, 
mean? I yeah. don't really know. I think it, every second of the whole show was gold. I think it's one of the greatest shows ever made. <laughs> yeah, it's like everything I want in television. <laughs> yeah, this feels like a closing remark type thing, not a on episode two type thing. So we'll we'll rank it at the end. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, on to episode two, guys. Ooh, so excited. All right, you guys, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Scary Movie Clubcast and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We'll see you guys next episode night. Bye. <laughs> Woo! Can't wait. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. When Olivia interrupt, I keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we'll learn. <laughs> One day. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> But we'll start ignoring it again. <laughs> this big glass, this big, not big glass, this big mirror. Mm -hmm. It's because it says the well, they're glass. Wrong. glass. <laughs> it's like an ornate mirror. It's, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I forgot to plug the social meds. Well, that's oh. done. Or no, do we want to go back? Yeah, let's just do it.